Hello everyone, the fourth week of the Genshin 5.2 beta has started, bringing out some additional kit changes for both Chaska and Ororon. This time around, however, there weren't that many updates made. The majority of the changes were just related to text and descriptions, and the only meaningful updates were just some slight nerfs to Ororon, so I just wanted to make a really quick video covering this week's beta changes. There were three main kit changes made to Ororon. First, the amount of electro particles he generates from his skill was changed again. Originally, it was three particles, then it was buffed to four particles during the third week of beta, but now it was brought back down to three electro particles, so Hoyaverse decided to revert the slight buff they made to Ororon last week. Definitely sucks that Ororon got a buff just to get nerfed back to its original version, but that's just how any game beta goes. A number is tweaked, but it can get tweaked at any time for rebalancing. Ultimately, however, one particle only changes Ororon's energy requirements slightly, as he can only use his skill once every 15 seconds. And in many teams, you're going to play him with another electro character already, which made his personal energy requirements relatively low. Of course, if Oron is the only electro character on the party, then this nerf does kind of suck. But even in these types of teams, I don't think one particle is going to make that much of a difference. So this nerf isn't too big of a deal. The other two changes were made to his constellations. Oron C2 was nerfed yet again. The maximum electro damage bonus he could get was originally 60%. It was then brought down to 40%. And now it is being brought down again to 32%. A loss of 8% electro damage definitely isn't that big of a nerf compared to the 20% decrease he already got, but it will ultimately decrease Oron's personal damage just a little bit. And lastly, Oron C4 got a buff. On top of making Oron's burst rotate faster to hit enemies more often, using his burst now gives an additional 8 energy. This counteracts the nerf to Oron's skill particle generation for his personal energy requirements. With C4, Oron now gives himself more energy even with the particle nerf, but the team's energy will still be negatively affected by the one less particle he generates. And those were the main Oron changes. Overall, it is a slight nerf to his kit with the decrease in particle generation, and even though the buffed C4 gives Oron himself overall more energy than before, he still loses some damage bonus from the nerf to his C2. But ultimately, these changes were very minor, so his overall performance in teams is effectively the same. He's still looking like a great sub DPS and support for electro charge centric teams, so in the grand scheme of things, these nerfs aren't that very significant. Other than those Oron changes, there isn't that much more to talk about. For Chaska's kit, her normal talent was updated yet again, but you don't use her normal text in her gameplay, so any changes made to this talent is irrelevant. And a sentence was added to her C6 stating that her Fatal Rounds, which is the instant charge attack you get with C6, has a cooldown of 3 seconds. I don't think this changes her C6 at all, however, and it just serves as a clarification. With C6, Chaska should still be able to perform one normal charge attack and then one instant charge attack alternating between the two. The final important update is that Chaska and Oron's birthdays were added, and the reason this is significant is that usually, once a character birthdays are added to a beta, this signifies that the character's kit is pretty much finalized. There can definitely be some more changes in the next week of beta. For instance, even after Shilonen's birthday got added, her signature weapon still got a slight nerf. But typically, the core gameplay and kits of the characters don't receive any more drastic updates once the birthdays are added. Thus, it is likely that Chaska's and Oron's kits are pretty much finalized with this week of beta changes. So, I guess all there's left to do is just wait for the official 5.2 livestream and their subsequent release. I hope this short update video on the Genshin 5.2 beta changes was in any way helpful. If you enjoyed, don't be afraid to like the video and sub to the channel to be informed about any relevant news about any Genshin beta updates. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day.